Hello, WU MBA students. Dr. Phillips back with you. Welcome to week four. For week four, your first topic is reinventing your business model. You will read chapter four of the book, Reinventing Your Business Model, and you will complete discussion questions seven and eight. As always, 250 word response that is substantive and also follows the ABCs. You'll watch Jim Hammerling's discussion titled, quote, Five Ways to Lead in an Era of Constant Change, end quote. You'll have your DQ responses submitted by Sunday and your classmate replies by Tuesday night. But of course, we'll keep the discussion flowing in week four through Thursday, July 21st. Post as early and often as you can. You know that I always say posting is the lifeblood of an effective online class. You'll complete the midterm exam. Click on the link in Blackboard and take the exam. Good luck. You will complete it on or before 729 at 1159 p.m. We also want you to double down in your efforts on the final paper. Some of you have already sent your proposal and we want you to send that proposal as soon as possible. Your capstone topic, as you know, must be related to business and encompass material that was covered in the NBA curriculum. In addition, you know this course focuses on strategies of successful and not so successful leaders to ascertain the kind of skills needed for you to provide excellent leadership in the business environment. Remember to address the entire list as listed in the syllabus. You must choose a leader you admire and or one who you agree or disagree with on a particular decision. Be certain to explain who the leader is and especially if the person is not commonly known, Give us some historical perspective and what decision you're using as the basis of your discussion. The purpose of the assignment is to allow you to develop and display critical thinking skills from a management perspective. Identify in your paper the following issues. The chosen leader's strategy rationale. The chosen leader's possible biases the chosen leader's reason for decisions, and the consequences or implications of the decision. General rules include the paper must be research-based and formatted according to APA. You want to study my additional resources in course content. Now remember this proposal should be a couple of paragraphs or a page long and submitted to me on or before July 24th, and some of you have already done that. Call or send me a text or an email if you need clarification. Ultimately, that final paper will end up 3,000 words, and it'll address all the course concepts, research-based, following APA format. You'll submit your final paper to the link provided. It will be processed through Plagiarism Checker, provided by Blackboard and SafeAssign. Remember to construct the proper title page or reference page with at least seven references in, in addition to our textbook. Always run a grammar and spell check. As an MBA student, there is no room for careless errors. As always, reach out to me if you ever have a question on content. Have a wonderful week for it.